All right, since you're the leading man Thanks, so far, yeah. I just decided to play my favorite English opening. Mm. C3, B6, Asso, mm-hmm. Knight of Three. Yeah. yeah. C5? You I want know some he's very well. Center tension? Hmm. To take D4, the Knight takes D4. I think like there's a no problem. It's a castle. Normal yeah, development. This is the time. He takes C5. Oh, he took? And Bishop F4. <laughs> so I'm an advantage oh. one move. What is that? So, yeah, I'm slightly better here. I have no idea here, but uh, I just want to do the same with Bishop F5. Yeah, a what? psychological move. Bishop F5? Does he want to copy my move? It's very symmetrical. What is that? I'm still leading. Oh, he has no other Nothing plan Nothing to worry about. Draw. He just wants to copy my move order. Maybe I'm slightly better because of my first move. But how can I refute that? Oh man... He has to do something else. It's pretty equal. He is behind a point. How can I refute that? Hmm. Adjust, adjust. Oh, what is that now? Alright. So of course. You need to take that's that. That's what you want. Then opposing the d-file, of course. Hmm. Rook takes d1, rook takes d1, then rook then d8. Of course, he should also be countering the d-file, I think. Hmm. Yeah. Draw is very welcome. Yeah. I suppose to make some draw here. Hmm. Rook d8, yes. Yes, rook d8 is very normal here. Hmm. Okay, so... Alright. We'll take it. Of course. Knight takes d8. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I need to do something else. Wow. Opening up my light squared bishop and trying to make some maneuverings. We're rooting his knight? Where? Oh yeah, knight d7. Knight d7? He wants to open his dark squared bishop too. And maybe he's planning to take my to open my to dark squared my bishop. Structure. Yeah, I need to play something very nice counter idea here. Alright, what about knight d5 here? Attacking his pawn on e7. Oh. Yeah. Attacking my pawn on e7? That's pretty good. Alright. Oh, just a very simple. King F8. Yeah. King F8. Of course, I need to play B3. Mm hmm. Knight C6. Alright. I'll play Knight E3, attacking his light squared bishop. Oh, and then very taking easy. Knight on C6. Yeah. Oh, he attacked my bishop. Of course. I need to run. This is my turn to take that. He has double pawn now. What comes next? Ah. Double pawn? But it's too hard for white maybe? to get that. Yeah. Oh man, it's so hard to attack those He's weak He's shaking ones. his head. How can I get that? Hmm. Uh, I need to control important maneuver, squares. Maneuver, maneuver. Where are you? But this is an end game, so King must be active. Yeah, King must be active. As my coach said. Oh, maneuver. Yeah, I need something maneuver like knight d3. Well, yeah, something like that. Maneuvering. It's better way. Yeah, this is my time to exchange oh. the dark squared bishop. He knows how to simplify. <laughs> if I take that bishop, then it helps to activate his knight. 
So, I would rather support that and also to improve my knight. Okay, knight d3. Oh. You just support the bishop. Hmm. Hmm. Bishop takes f4, knight a takes f4. Threatening a bishop on e6. Then knight f8. Followed with king d7 so that my king will become active. Yeah. Chip takes f4. Of course, knight takes. Eight. Of course, to support my light squared bishop. Knight takes bishop. Oh,